Wings are back, bitches! Woo! Reactors, we have ourselves DC Titans Season 4 Part 2 is officially here. Man, it's been forever. It's been forever since my last reaction, which was episode 6, four months ago. I mean, it feels like forever, but I'm finally happy that we can finish off Season 4 and see how this all will end for our cast of Titans and how these character arcs will wrap up. But we got ourselves six episodes in this part two of season four, and it's all bittersweet. But today, we are reeling in episode seven. You guys can expect my episode eight reaction later on today on the channel. But in order to expect it and be ready to reel it in with me, you gotta click that notification bell so that you guys are prepared and ready. So make sure you guys do that, and you might as well hit that subscribe button too as well. But we got ourselves episode seven. I've been enjoying season four so far. I think overall it's been good. Not one of the best seasons, but we still have the rest of season four with part two. So my opinion on this whole season can still change and I can consider this the best season of Titans down the road. But we got ourselves episode seven. You clicked on this video for a reel it in reaction. So let's get right into this thing because it's time to reel. It in Brother Blood, he's about to rise. <laughs> yeah, he's about to be a problem for everyone. <laughs> what have I become? A supervillain. Your followers will do anything you ask. You're their leader now. Rise. <laughs> What's next? Next, we bring back your father. Trigon. So they are doing this. All right. Man, they all got teleported last episode. Thanks to Gar. They're gone. But where's Gar? They're all gone. He's in the red, right? How are we still here? Gar. Gar saved us somehow. So where is he? I don't know. He's alive, though. I'd feel it if he wasn't. This man teleported, yo. That was so crazy. I should have killed him when I had the chance. Don't do it to yourself. We all made the decision to save him, together. Did we, though? Oh, uh, Connor. I wanted to stop him. Maybe if you worked with us instead of going off on your own, we had to change the plan to save your ass. Yep. You look where your plan got us. A big, empty B-movie Batcave. <laughs> he also said B-movie Batcave. Jinx died for us. Fighting with each other is not going to change anything. Rest in peace, what are you Jinx. Doing? Releasing her spirit from this place of evil. Raven's like super strong now since she's like the white Raven. There's something down here. He must have used his x-ray vision and found that. Oh. Of course. LexCorp. <laughs> yeah. I can see it coming. Connor is going to be on a total, I feel like a war path. It's from Lex. He must have planted it here to help us. Yeah, that sounds like Lex. Why would Lex leave something here of all places? If you're reading this, my plan failed and May is as evil as I fear. The book contains information only known by me. Give it to Richard. Richard. He claims to be a master detective, so let him detect. The rest is just for me. Huh. Of course. Y'all need to keep an eye on Connor. That's what y'all need to do. Can you read that? No. Well, I definitely know someone who can. Where's Connor? Doing his own thing. Do you think Connor will come back? Well, I don't think he'd leave crypto behind forever. 
She has a point. Sometimes I think that part of me fed off the darkness. And I, I don't really know who I am without it. Tapping into that dark side. Your parents? Bernard. Are you going to respond? I say what? What happened in that temple? How do I explain that? I'm not going to lie to him. You can't just ignore him because you think you can't deal with it. You're right. Man, you just need to hit the gym. Get to training. Come in. Hello? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Weird. Divokta Tamaran? Oh. And then it's like a ching. Chip chip. I was expecting orange light. Why is yours blue? Well, I guess I'm full of surprises. We need your help. Reading this. Prophecy. She's gonna crack this in minutes. So there is a fulsome son of Trigon manifested in the well of blood here. And he has the horn. The horn? The one Trigon lost in his early battles with the first Tamaranian. It's protected by his followers. Only one with Trigonic blood can use it. Uh, use it for what? Bring him back. Basically, he's going to eat the world. <laughs> That's crazy. And how do we stop him? You don't. She does. Your light. Corey? When used to its full power, can end this. No way, Corey? I would think it'd be Raven that'd be like... The biggest antagonist to Trigon. We're gonna go find the horn and stop this before it goes any further. Oh, we got six episodes. It's going to go further. <laughs> yeah. So if anybody with Trigonic blood can get the horn, then I'm just as qualified as Sebastian. We just need to get there first. Theoretically, yes. But we need to know where the horn is in order to do that. Roberta was able to translate this text. Firestar explodes. Blood portal opens. Horn of power sounds. Nice three-step process. We could cross-reference, see if anything pops. What if it's not about the words? It's called gematria, and it's basically like semantic numerology. In most ancient languages, each letter has a numeric value. Like Scrabble. Oh. Okay, Tim is on to something. That's how we ended up with 666 being the mark of the beast in Revelation. Okay. Okay, so we have a bunch of numbers instead of letters. Unless it's both numbers and letters. So if blood portal means temple, Holy shit. Lex just gave us the location of the horn. Well, time to go. All right, Connor. What are you up to? That's a cool shot. So you found Lex's box and decided to listen to your father for once. People died because of you. What you did to me, to Gar. You never paid for that. He was an extraordinary human being. He valued intelligence. He gave me opportunities in fields that women and women of color don't often get. Well, that intelligence did not get him far, since that man got killed off real quick. May was one of his rare missteps. You were not. Now May and her son are your problem to solve. Maybe the Titans will stop them. If you believed that, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> She's right. What would he have me do? Avenge him. For starters, Avenge him, go on your own solo act. What's that? Information your friends don't have. Lex was preparing countermeasures against what May had planned. This man Lex was two step ahead. Take this and run back to the Titans. You are smarter, stronger, and more powerful than all of them. You know you are. Oh my gosh, she's just boosting this man's ego. You can stop May and Sebastian all on your own. If you want to. No, no, this man does horrible against magic. No. Who's driving in this small car? Bernard? What? I activated the tracking devices in the RV. You tracked us. Sorry, but you're here and that's great. In this small little car. We're looking for an artifact. The coordinates we have led us here, but I mean. I'll contact the lab, have them send over satellite images of the area. Uh, I'll go with Bernard. <laughs> of course you will. Listen, Bernard, I'm sorry I haven't answered your text. It's just... 
It's been so busy. Not responding was a response. Man was in action. We should just be colleagues. Yeah, that's not happening. We all know that's not happening. Calls Folly? That place isn't on the map. That's the title of this episode. What Whoa. the hell? They saw that. What the heck? Invisible barrier? They should know something up. I mean, the sunlight. Thank you. Thanks. What is going on? What was that? She's afraid. Of us? I think so. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? No service. Great. So no service? Oh, People oh. acting weird, Sorry. especially Megan. Why do I feel like they're in like a alternate dimension or something? Oh, they're getting a ticket. There's a clear sign right when you hit town. It says, big dogs like this, not allowed. What? Rules are rules. Laws separate us from the animals, don't they? Dick Grayson. Dave. Dave Carter. Hey, why don't you move this thing out of here and check on Timmy? Yeah, I'll, um, I'll be right back. Uh, you know, you can uh, pay for this right now if you want. That'd be great. What? Bruh. I already know. Something's up with these people here. It just hasn't been revealed to us. 150 bucks. That's very Detroit. 150 bucks for a parking ticket. For a parking ticket. <laughs> what? Whoa, look at that shot. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? So what brings you through? Antique honey. Sometimes little towns like this have hidden treasures. I think I have an idea what you're really looking for. Oh, does he? You a whiskey drinker? You a mind reader? He's more than that, I'm telling you. Come by then. Sounds good. This guy's like way too nice. There's gotta be another way out. I tried every road. It's the same thing. <laughs> the exit gets farther and farther. Maybe we need to get the horn in order to get out. Sheriff Carter invited me for drinks tonight. I think he has the horn. That's our shot. <laughs> What's going on with her? Something's happening to me. I feel strange. Come on, let's get you inside the RV. So they are experiencing something weird as they are trying to exit. You telling me they weren't experiencing this same thing when they were trying to enter? Did you take it? Take it. Let her go. Oh, man. Oh, he dipped off real fast. That's my dad. He's... Oh. Are you okay? She put something in her drink. <laughs> I think Megan put it in all of their drinks. It's just the fact that Raven was sitting in there, in the diner, just drinking it up. Don't get up. <laughs> Don't even move. Whoa. None of your powers work here. Wow. That sucks. Your friend from the diner, the son of Trigon, where is he? My friend's obviously not his son. I mean, the drug didn't work on him, did it? Nope. I'm the daughter of Trigon. Surprise, surprise. The son of Trigon, he is on his way, and he wants the horn. But I need to know what I'm up against, and I need to find my friends. I thought these people were like bad. Calls folly is magic. We've been trapped here for years. The sheriff is the keeper. He'll protect the horn of the death. He and the others have been waiting for the chosen one. They think your friend is it. No. And what will they do when they find out that he's not? They'll kill him. These people have been trapped. If she's lying. We're dead. I'd rather be dead than spend another day here. They're trying to get out. But brother, blood is on the way for sure. I'm traveling for business or pleasure today. They make me ask you that. Uh, one room? Two? Two, please. Traveling for business or pleasure. You got a knock or what? That's an invitation. I don't want to be just friends. 
Me neither. <laughs> I, like I said, I told you it wasn't gonna last long at all. Jeff Carter? This is awkward. You're telling me he's the only sheriff, the only cop in town. Nobody at the front desk. Oh. Looks like you made yourself right at home. There we go. Just give me the horn and I'll leave. It's not gonna work that way. Fellas. <laughs> These guys don't stand a chance. Come on, really? This man, Dick, gets beat up by these guys. Come on. Golly. They all got weapons. Oh, nice tagline to be continued. I figured. I figured. All right, as usual, my quick thoughts. This will be a quick review as we have episode eight to reel in. And as we just finished this episode, they are both basically part one and part two. So this story will continue with episode eight. But I will tell you this, I'm very surprised that Gar is not in this episode at all. I mean, wow, total shock by that. Given the fact that he's the reason why everyone is still alive. He saved everyone. But like I said in the intro, it's good to be back. We finally got these episodes. Um, I will have to say this episode was a little bit weird. Um, very weird. The only unweird part is um, Tim and Bernard getting back together. Uh, I knew by the end of this episode they were not going to be apart. But as we see, they are fine and dandy and back to normal. Uh, back to their regular ways and it's kind of funny to think back on it they were both put off because of simple exchanges with text I mean this happens with every relationship so I saw them way beforehand coming together but besides those two we got Connor off doing his own thing he thinks he can take the fight on his own, just like we saw in the previous six episodes, this isn't going to go well for him. This man does not do well against magic, and he can't seem to get that through his thick skull. So this man is walking down a very dangerous path, and I feel like with these next coming up episodes, this man will be humbled, uh, for sure, by someone. Either it will be Mother Mayhem, in which we saw her humble that man quite a few times in the previous six episodes, or it will be due to the fact him going up against Brother Blood. But the Titans got to know that they can't do this alone. This started as a team. It's got to end with the team. But... In order for that to happen, they got to get Connor on their side. But I'll say that this was an okay episode. Um, felt a little bit dry uh, because, obviously, no action. They're kind of just going by the motions, slow pacing here and there. But overall, like I said, I still enjoyed this slow time, but... The fact that this continues in episode 8, I'm pretty sure this episode makes it all that much worth it once I get through and reel in episode 8. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this episode. You guys can expect episode 8 later on today. So I'll see you guys then to reel in episode 8. That rhymed. So like this video, hit that subscribe button. Plenty more reactions are on the way. So I'll see you guys for episode 8. This is Real Than Reactions. I'm Real Than Miles. Peace.